Section One of Selected Poems by Susan M. Boofer. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Selected Poems by Susan M. Boofer. Alchemy, read by Newgate Novelist. Since I have loved you every man i pass goes by me with some hint of you some windy grace of your swift movement through the crowd some similarity of upflung brow that lifts me with the thrill of mountains some glance of eyes like yours that whisper phraseless things since i have loved you every man i pass goes by me with some hint of you since i have loved you are you all men and has love made all men you end of poem this recording is in the public domain the harlot's child by susan m boofer Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist She is a little downy baby thing With eyes as quick as mirrors To give back what she sees And she has a sidelong way Of peeking in the corners of life's eyes As though she begged a chance to please As though she promised to agree she knows somehow the colours of the world are fast chameleon of soul she sets herself to acquiesce end of poem this recording is in the public domain war by susan m boofer read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist I have forgotten my old grief because you love me not. I have forgotten the slow rust of loneliness upon my soul. I have forgotten all my ways and woes of life. I have forgotten my life now. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Beatrice, Daughter of Dante, by Susan M. Boofer, read for LibriVox.org, by Newgate Novelist. Dante and his wife, Gemma, were the parents of several children, one of whom, Beatrice, became a nun. I, the nun, am named the name of her my father loved, and dreamed of in his soul but that is all of her i am her beauty and her name are strings upon a harp all men like wind will touch to music while i beatrice have no beauty but her name well i remember long years agone when playing at my father's knee with what smouldering eyes he sometimes gazed at me well i remember how his voice intoned my name with music music as of lilies ringing upon winds of lyric spring in awe of his pale face i never dared to speak alone with him who passed amongst his children wrapped in woe but one time when i felt his gaze blow fire upon me one time when he sang my name i looked into his eyes and in that salutation of our souls the reeling universe an instant lost the beat of its star music ah oh, madonna mia i seldom think upon my father now or her whose name he gave to me here within the cloister on all griefs and exile love and death 
the years fall soft as feathers of the snow upon felled forests that the winds forsake only sometime in the garden as this even song the sisters call me and her name where nestle all the flowers of spring blows warm about my snows and deep beneath the winter in my soul i feel the stir of love their love all love which is the resurrection and the life and i become somehow a part of love i beatrice who of all her starry beauty wear only her name here in the twilight cloister through the twilight years end of poem this recording is in the public domain troy by susan m boofer read for LibriVox.org by Newgate novelist we all steal paris like the beauty that to him was helen and flee to fabled cities by forgotten seas to dream until from ramparts strange with dawn we too incredulous must watch avenging ships close in from alien seas end of poem this recording is in the public domain dams by susan m boofer read for the brivox dot org by newgate novelist i am a lake held here with dams and quiet to the sky floods little floods flirt by me but my dams hold and i say to myself it is not really a flood if the dams hold but sometimes terror still beneath the sky i whisper dams are stronger than floods end of poem this recording is in the public domain silence by susan m boofer read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist never before that silence had it been difficult for us to span the deeps with swaying bridges of light talk delicate and strong as steel suspensions flung across swift waters never before that silence when the cables of our banter would not hold between us was the murmuring garden in the guilty moonlight or the moment's silence we had built together amid the laughing throng our judas between us in the moon snow that little silence grew and deepened strong and palpable as rising waters and i lost you in the waters of our silence you and all the fireflies of love that had made magical our swaying bridges end of poem this recording is in the public domain fugitive by susan m boofer read for librivox dot org by newgate novelist you are the shooting star that pales the pleiades you are the frost that fires the autumn trees you are the sunset upon cloud-lost peaks you are the silence music seeks you are the wind-winged dream i waken to and banish you are the hands that beckon me and beckoning vanish across the grass 
yours are the white veils of obliterating snow you are everyone i pass and no one that i know end of poem this recording is in the public domain i first see beatrice by susan m Bufa. Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist What care I for their fiesta at Fiesole today? I who last night went into hell. They taunt me. Now the world is brave with mourning. They jeer and mock. The coward lads who left me at the gate of hell. What care I for Giovanni's silly plea? It was a robber's cave. Or Angelo's excuse that a wild panther dwelt therein fools how well i know it was the dark the shivery shadows of the trees and call of night-birds through the beating silence that disturbed them they were afraid well i told them it was not beasts or robbers they had no need to fear with me in hell i saw filippo's hand steal out and pull giovanni's cloak in terror at my words guido cavalcanti laughed laughed there is no hell he said or heaven i shall return i return i mocked return to safety and to bed who fears to follow me through hell who comes remember all hope abandon ye who enter in i waited at the dolorous door while they conspired together but i went alone and to-day they taunt me they who were afraid they laugh and cry echo thee there is he that was in hell fools i care nothing for them nor their laughing frolics in the sun under these cypresses i stand apart from play and gaze down from this parapet where far firenze and the valleys flowery with spring fill up with bloom the high hills circling cup yonder alone bird soars and dips and sweeps on moveless wings above the valley where firenze dreams the children shouting on the olive slopes make music in the distance as they whirl and flutter like a cloud of butterflies wrought from a rainbow but what to me are dancing children in the sun or tuscany a shimmer with the fire of spring i who this dawn emerging thence came forth to re-behold the stars i grow very weary in this cypress shade leaning so upon the parapet i would that i could sleep like blown butterflies in drowsy breezes the children drift in play adown the silvery hills anon they dance above me by yon high ruined tower their voices make gold music in the golden sun from heaping baskets they have culled singing they weave the poppies into crowns crowns echo thee perhaps again i dream lo there to see her pass among the children on the grass but no awake i climb upon the parapet and so gaze up again to see her her ah all crimson like the flame of young spring sun she kneels before the one who plays at king and when she rises in her hair pale poppies gleam like stars stars one day i shall sing word flowers of love for her to wear like lilies in her hair one day i shall search the heaven of heavens for stars to leave her crowned for ever with my love o oh, blessed maiden hark they call her but i knew the name beatrice end of poem this recording is in the public domain Cumulative Death 
by Susan M. Boofer. Read for LibriVox.org by Newgate Novelist. Where are those others that were I who living die? Where is the child I used to be whose listening eyes gazed finger lipped upon the world's surprise? Where now the ardent boy whose sky youth consumed itself in sons of truth where the man who learned at last to walk the world with eyes downcast from stars where lie these shadowy others that were i what mounds not made with hands are hidden in the years through which life masquerades with bells and fife life the jester at the court of fate who sobs beneath his laughing breath i life am cumulative death end of poem this recording is in the public domain and end of selected poems by susan m boofer thank you for listening